My name is Saskia Royston, and I'm one of the co-founders and CEO of Uno Social Business. We invest in social businesses in, a, in developing countries with the goal to end poverty. So I was asked to contribute the five things that we need to see before we invest in a company. So let me start with number one. We need to see credible social impact. When we're talking about solving problems, we don't mean yet again another photo sharing app. Um, so first world problems. We're really talking about problems of poverty. To name an example, uh, we have a wonderful company called Burn that solves the problem of lack of access to energy um, in Kenya. And through Burn, over 960,000 families now already have access to clean cookstoves. That's a problem and that's credible social impact. So number two, we look at a strong business model because social business is still a business, even though it solves a social problem. Actually, it's a much more strong business or it's an even harder business to be in than a normal business serving the rich because serving the poor is even harder since they need to look at every single penny that they spend. They're very choosy customers and therefore building a strong business model that manages to be financially self-sustainable is absolutely essential for any investment that we would make. To name again a fantastic example, Tugenda is a motorcycle leasing company that allows people to own their own uh, Boda Bodas, as they're called in Uganda, their own motorcycles that they can use as motorcycle taxis. Um, that has been a fantastic business model that has a stellar social impact and is also financially self-sustainable. Number three, it has to be a committed entrepreneur. With committed, I mean somebody that is passionate about the particular social problem that they have chosen and that is therefore committed to staying on in the long run. Also, if the company, if it's going to be extremely difficult um, to actually reach that target. Um, and it also has to be an extremely capable person. So we're not talking about a dreamer that cares about something but doesn't have the capabilities. So one person that comes to my mind is Roshan Miranda from Waste Ventures. Um, in India. He is a former management consultant with BCG. He had the ability to do anything and have any beautiful job in any big company and make a lot of money. And he decided with those capabilities, he actually wanted to solve a real social problem and is working with thousands of waste pickers in India to ensure that they have a higher income and the streets of India are cleaned up. That's what I call a committed and also capable entrepreneur. So number four, the company has to have potential for scale. We're not talking about solving one social problem in one small area, but it actually has to be a model that has the ability to also grow significantly. And that is, again, also essential. So one concrete example that I have in mind here is a company that we've invested in in Uganda called Impact Water. They, do, they serve people um, clean drinking water. They sell clean drinking water systems to schools so they can give it to their kids. Why this model has the potential to scale is because they're actually selling not just to one individual, but they're selling to an entire school. So every sale they make doesn't solve the problem for one person, but it solves it for 500 people or 1,000 people, i.e. all the kids in the school. That's what potential to scale actually looks like. And then number five, local expertise. We're investing in social businesses in developing and emerging countries, and it doesn't help to bring some wonderful solution from the, U from the US or from Europe to those countries. What it actually needs is local entrepreneurs that bring local expertise and that understand the market very well. That is essential to success, and that is essential for any investment that we make. These are the five things that we need to see to make an investment in any company. I hope it's helpful.